All right, everybody. So we have the same warm up as we did on Monday. So this won't be new to you. We're going to start with that. So five reps starting with the bow and bend. Reach up and back, down to the ground. Reach up and back, down to the ground. Good. Three more. Starting to warm it up. See how the body feels. One more. We're moving into the runner's lunge now. So find a plank position. Step out with the right foot, step back and switch. The runner's lunge is just like the world's greatest without that extra reach. Last one. Good, stand all the way up. We're gonna be doing the inchworm now. So you're going to walk it forward to the plank, then walk your feet to your hands, stand up and switch, five reps, forward to the plank, feet up to the hands, sometimes the warm up can feel like the workout. That means you sufficiently prime the body through what you come. One more. All right. We're doing the lateral lunge with the rotation. So bend and reach. Be really good at these warm up drills because we've been doing some of them for a while. Maybe you notice a little bit more range of motion. One more each side. All right, we're heading back to the bow and bend. Reach up and back. One more round through, down to the ground. On this last one, you can step out into a plank. Big step, get that foot as flat as you can. Don't go too fast. Give your second to give yourself a second to sit into that stretch. Last one each side. Moving into the inchworm. First we crawl it forward. And then we go feet to hands. Stand up and repeat. Maybe over time, you notice you can keep your legs straighter and your hands planted more firmly. You can get up on your tippy toes as you walk your feet to your hands. Try and get your feet as close to the hands as you can without stopping short. Last one here. All right, lateral lunge now. Bend one knee, turning towards that leg. We get a little lower body, we get a little upper body. All right. 
anxiety. You'll need a light weight for goblet squat. Kettlebell. Christy, did you go traveling somewhere? Are you back at your brother's? Uh, yeah, I'm back in Atlanta apartment shopping this weekend. Oh boy, good luck. Thanks. So we have goblet squats and supermans. This is your prep work, so you want it to feel more moderate. So goblet squat, holding your kettlebell on a handle, elbows pointing down, feet slightly turned out. We want to come down, elbows to knees, and up. All right, that should feel fairly easy that you're on the ground for Superman. All right, so 10 and 10, let's all just start at the same time. So bring that weight up to your chest. All right, so taking it down and up. Down, pry those legs nice and wide, chest is tall, elbows to inner knees. Inhaling, exhale, push into the ground to stand. Shoulders are back. All right, last one. On your belly now, legs straight behind you, arms overhead. 10 reps, go ahead, count it out on your own, lift and lower. Try and keep the knees straight, the knees straight. Good. Feel that posterior chain, back side of the body strengthening. Stand it up. And then grab your squat weight again. We're going to get into our second set. Elbows down. Feet slightly turned out. Go ahead. Ten squats here. Good. Good looking squats here today. Like the tall chest and the deep sit that you're getting. On your bellies for Superman, those knees stay straight. Reaching the arms up and away from the floor. One more set. I know you're thinking, seems like a lot for prepping the body. 30 squats before we even start the workout. But that's what we're doing. One more set. This is how we keep the body safe so we don't tweak it when we start our heavier workload. Final set of 
Superman really lifting and squeezing those shoulder blades, glutes, hamstrings, fly high. Gotta reverse that office body. This body here, bring it back and squeeze it up. Get some water when you're done. We're gonna move into our working set. So we've got TRX rows. If you don't have a TRX, you can do a bent over row. And kettlebell or dumbbell sumo deadlift. So for those of you with the TRX, you're gonna have your hands bringing your armpits step forward. Straighten the arms, hold. Notice I don't stab the bottom, so you want to stay tight. If you don't have a TRX, you can do a bent over row. So hinge forward, pull. I'm going to review the kettlebell sumo deadlift, but we're doing four sets, eight to 12 reps with a minute break. The sumo deadlift is a wide stance deadlift. So not only are my legs wide, but my feet slightly turn out. Don't forget we're pinching. So we're not squatting, but back and up. You can use two weights or one weight. I'm gonna hinge forward. First rep on the first set, you're gonna hold on top for 10 seconds. Squeeze your shoulders back, tight glutes. Then you're just gonna go into regular reps. Tap it, stand. Four sets, eight to 12 reps. So, Curtis, Aaron, and Isabel on the TRXs, and then Kelsey and Megan, you guys start with two months. You guys are on TRX rows. Remember, you've got a one minute break in between in between your sets yes but it doesn't necessarily have to be okay. so toes up air toes up there uh -huh. good you want to just well you can farmer scare There you go. Yep. Tight on those rows. No, now you're going to rest for a minute and repeat four times. A little bit bigger than that.
So remember, progressive overload, if you didn't read our email, we also put it on Instagram talking about increasing your weights and reps over time. So sumo deadlifts are similar to deadlifts. Make sure you're not starting way back from, you know, what you were doing, you know, during a warm-up set, right? You want to track. That's why we send you guys the PDF version of the program so you can be tracking your weights. So you want to remember what you're doing so you can build on it. Good. Looking strong at home with those rows. I like the squeeze and position. So once you finish your fourth set, and you can switch, switch over. No rush, take that time. When you start to hit the appropriate weight, you should really want that minute rest. You should not feel like you can like do another set right away. everyone. Then 8 to 12. If you get to 12 easily, that's a good indicator that it's time to go heavier. If you only manage 8, then, you know, 8 or 9, it's a good idea to stick with the weight that you have. And if you get to 12 and it was still really hard, then I would stick with that weight for another week. Bend the knees a little bit more as you go back. 
So release the knees a little bit more. So there's still some bend. Yes, so there's that. Good. There you go. Good. So keep the toes up the whole time. And at the bottom, don't let your butt be down. Good. You're bringing the heat, warming yourself up on the coldest day of the season. So far. So much joy over the next week. Christy just bolted off to the south. Not fair. <laughs> Leaving us all to suffer for another eight days. Fine, we're strong. We'll get through it. Good. Things that can make your uh, your sets harder and easier. So if you go really fast, it, it has its moments, right? Speed is something we can use, but when you're lifting, you want to use an appropriate speed. So most likely if you're going fast, you're trying to like get through it, but you're not really going to give yourself time to get strong. Okay, so make sure to keep a nice tempo on these movements. If we're doing jumping or other things like that, there's a time and a place for speed. which we'll experience more later. Was that three or four? Three? Three. You did four? So we've got some people finishing. So we're about to set away from moving on. So if you're done, grab a little sip. You got a short extra rest break. I will explain the next two exercises. So um, we've got eccentric push-ups, which is an extra slow lowering phase. And then we have a one-arm carry. All right, so that animal abuse, I swear. All right, so for push-ups, two ways to do it. On your toes, you're going down one, two, three. Use your knees, 
So we don't want to break that straight line with our body. If quite lower yet on your on your toes, then you'll use your knees. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Squeeze the butt down three, two, one, up, three, two, one, up. Biggest thing is arm placement. Okay, so hands are underneath my elbows, not up by my shoulders. After you do your set of push-ups, you have a 30 second carry. If at home you don't have room, you can do a 30 second march. 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other side. Since we're all gonna be a little bit off, I'm gonna have you guys counting your own farmer's carry. All right? So we've got three sets here. Negative push-ups into a 30 second carry. So when you're ready, we're gonna get that started. As always, anytime you have questions at home, please feel free to unmute yourself. And also, if your camera is not on you and you want some feedback on your form, just adjust it, because I do watch, but if I can't see, I can't give you any corrections. So, all right, go ahead and get started. Keep that core tight. Push-ups are all about your core. Nice. Yeah, these are new. They yeah. change colors too. Oh, <laughs> you're getting fancy. Yeah. Nice. All right. 
soon as that minute's up, let's see those push-ups. Nice, Christy, good. Solid line, think. Like you have a board on your back from your head to your tailbone. Like, like there's a leash attached 
us, but there's not. I feel like we're just in one of those cages, right? All right, we're finishing up that third set, taking a break, grabbing some water. Getting excited around our for progress. So we are going to be launching our new site next week, hopefully Monday. It's taken a lot longer for some data to transfer, but in addition to the recordings, we're going to have an exercise library of all the exercises for each month in little video clips so you can review them um, during the month or before the program starts as just a reference point um, so the next three the first one is it was new to me it's a shoulder mobility exercise so you're going to be on your belly Arms forward. I'm going to lift the arm, pull down, flip, hands to my low back, around. This is the blackbird. When I'm here, I'm pulling my elbows up away from the ground. I'm also squeezing my glutes a little bit and pulling my belly up. After that, I've got the Bulgarian split squat. Here. You'll need a bench, a couch, and some weight. All right. And then we've got a push press. You can do this with kettlebells or dumbbells. It's a mini squat, so a quarter squat. I'll show you from the front and side. I'm going to dip, press. Okay? Dip. I'm using my legs. So the point of that is to use your lower body to get the weights up. You've got five black burns, five to 10 split squats each leg, and eight to 12 push presses. You don't need to use that one. I've got an extra over here. Uh, I don't use that one. Isabel, you can use the brown, Kelsey, you got that. Megan, you got one of that. So either one. Three sets, guys. The black burns are strictly shoulder. Foot squat, we got lower body. And then the push press. Pull the thumb, split hands to the low back, pulling the elbows up and then reversing it forward. Turn out here, no difference. Bend down, pull down, and then split. Yeah. So, pull down, put the thumbs under, yep, reverse it, and reach up. This is kind of like snow angels and some of those others we've done. Janice, if your toe is giving you issues, you could do TRX assisted so you don't have to flex the toe on the split squat. Good. The Bulgarians are looking good.